figure they'd run behind Ivy. Heavy to the left. Fourth and goal, it's Cox leaping into the end zone. Ball came out. Now on the doorstep with Massey, working his way into the end zone for a touchdown. That's it, it's over. Apopka wins the 8A state championship. A great way to find a way to win. State championship, hard to believe it, hard to believe it. Well, believe this, Central Florida, the man is back. The land making a huge big name hire. Rick Darlington coming back to Central Florida. They probably thought he's an idiot. <laughs> why, why is he giving up all that, you know, whatever, wealth to come back to Central Florida? In case you forgot, Rick Darlington had not one, but two wildly successful stints at Apopka. Last three years, he went and turned around the program at Enterprise High in Alabama. Then Coach D saw a grade A opportunity. I've kind of thought DeLand for my whole coaching career has been kind of like a hidden gem. I wouldn't come back to somewhere I didn't feel that we could compete for state championships. Just to compare, Rick Darlington has 40 career postseason wins. DeLand has nine in school history. I have a plan that I know will work. And so I guess I feel more confident now, but it always comes back to the players and the talent. And it does take time and it's not always pleasant, but I do believe that we can get it done. That really begs the obvious question. Will we see that vaunted single wing offense under Darlington at DeLand? Maybe. It's not the X's and the O's. And I don't even want to say it's the Jimmys and the Joes. I want to just say that the intangibles make all the difference. We can crunch numbers, throw out stats, talk state titles all day long. Here's what you can expect from Rick Darlington's return. You know, we're not going to be the best looking team. And we might not even be the best playing team. But we're going to be the toughest team, the meanest team, the team with the most belief in ourselves. In Deland, Luke Hetrick, Spectrum Sports 360.